Welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting up the 66 Nova 406 small block. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. So first I wanna start off by saying thank you to Motion Raceworks for letting us come down there and pick out what we needed. Here we've got our Dash 6 fuel line, we've got transmission fittings, we've got power steering fittings, and fuel line fittings. So let's go ahead and start getting this stuff ran and tidied up under the car so that way we can get one step closer to firing it up. So I've been working on the car here and I just want to give a few updates on what we've got done so far. We've actually gone ahead, kind of mocked up some of our brake line here from the caliper where we're going to mount it on the frame. We do have to weld a tab onto here. Uh, we did get some of the pre-bent lines. Obviously, they bend them in shipping, so you got to kind of tweak those back. And up front here, I've got one half of the tranny cooler line done. Got the fittings to convert it over to AN. So I've got both of those done there. I've got them just ran back to here. I'm just waiting on the dash six straight fittings. Also went ahead, kind of hard to see, but got the 150 degree fitting on the power steering line and I've got that ran down and just sitting there I'm waiting on the two uh, power steering rack fittings from Speedway a lot of just waiting on parts right now to be honest we've got a lot of stuff we could wrap up went ahead and put uh, just the first clamp in here put a rib nut inside this channel I think it's like an inch and three quarter square tube and I'm going to put another one in the middle one at the back here just kind of tidy those up and dress up the lines there so they are hooked up front to the sniper and back here they will run up along the frame all the way up and over the rear end and then obviously back here to the fuel tank so I've got those ran cut might be a little bit extra that I'll have to cut off there so that pretty much is everything underneath of the car and I haven't really done a whole lot up front. I'm waiting on a power distribution block for hooking up wires under the dash. I want to keep the EFI system, as I stated before, separate from the entire rest of the wiring harness. That stuff hopefully will show up tomorrow. Got exhaust showing up, all kinds of fittings to wrap that up. Got to put an inline fuel filter in there yet and some other things. So I need to get that mocked up before I continue with the rib nuts and putting those clamps in there. So we'll continue on from there as soon as the parts show up. All right, so it's the next day, actually two days later, and finally we have our package here from Speedy. It has all of our fittings, stuff we needed there, stuff for running our power, also our wide band, uh, brake line fittings and stuff to bolt to the third member, power distribution, hookups, and there's also a block in here for hooking up multiple terminal wires. We're going to put that in there to wire up some of the EFI. Um, I don't like to rant a lot about people, but Speedway Motors ships Speedy Delivery. And I just got to say, every time I order and they ship Speedy Delivery, they should call themselves not so speedy because I waited on that package from the next state over, which should have been next day UPS, and it took an entire week to get here. So that killed a lot of time. But if you want to come over here, Morgan, we'll show them what we got wrapped up here. We actually went ahead, got the power steering lines ran and got fittings for the rack these are standard thread so those are done and ran also went ahead and got the rest of the transmission lines ran under the rack back in and through and hooked up back to the transmission and then also went ahead and wrapped up the rest of the fuel line so they come down we already had this one in there rib nutted in went ahead and put the fuel filter in would like to know if anybody knows if there is an actual bracket for an MP-7010. It would be nice to have an actual bracket. I hate zip tying things up. Went ahead and put another one there. Jumps over top of the four link. And a couple more brackets there. And across the back, and I do have a riv nut in here. So that way when this, well, it's done, but I ran out of the bracket. So I need one more bracket. And then it's hooked up up here to the fuel hat so that's everything there underneath the car nothing on the top has changed now the biggest thing to get this thing fired up is we're going to start on that wiring mess 
All right, guys, so I gotta admit, again, we're not gonna get as far as I would have liked to have been in this video. And I know I don't have much footage, if anything at all, except updates from me every couple seconds. And that's because I've been trying to thrash on this thing every night just to get this thing done. So that way he can move it along to the next step, which is going for windows and interior and stuff like that, so he can meet his deadline. So as you can see here, gone ahead and wrapped up a lot of the EFI harness as far as on the engine side, I should state. There's a lot of work to do on the inside, but that wrapped up most of that. Mounted the fuse holder and relay here, and then you can see the grommets going through, two of them down there through the firewall. Also went ahead and added in the wire from the dominator here, jumping across, that goes to the negative side on the coil down here. Went ahead and also riv nutted in. Really love that riv nut gun. Uh, put a positive and negative terminal post down here that way we can get good clean power to the dominator or I guess the sniper I should say so used to my stuff but the sniper it needs a good clean power source and then anything else we want to tie into there for clean power and then that's pretty much it brake lines gonna have my brother come over and help me with all that stuff and then if we move along to the inside you can see here that terminal strip was added onto the firewall down here. And then I've started running some of that wiring here, just have a mess of stuff here. This, all this wiring over the tunnel is everything that I'm gonna do. And then that is actually the factory replacement wiring harness there. So that will take care of everything as far as that. Like I said, I just wanna keep my sniper stuff separate from anything factory. That way everything can be sort it out if there are any issues and then on this car the battery i don't know if i said or not but the battery is actually mounted in the trunk so i need to get the main wires from the trunk to the front and after we do that that's when we can finalize the rest of the wiring up front here and then power up the dominator the only thing i need to pull yet is actually going to be the fuel pump wire so there's a fuel pump wire from the sniper I need to pull that back out from the dash because I'm going to run that in there just to have a connection point and then run that back out with a negative back to the fuel pump and that'll be good there and then really we could power that up and actually make sure everything is working as far as that way. Uh, do need coil wire to go to the distributor and I think worst case we will just reuse one of these there and that will take care of that. And then lower radiator hose. The one the pre-molded did not work and the flex one was too short. So we'll get a new flex one. And then after that, I believe, really, that's going to take care of a lot of the stuff. Once we get the lower radiator hose, we'll put coolant in. We can add um, oil. I don't know if I showed, got the dipstick installed as well. We're going to get a low car transmission dipstick and a speed sensor for the tranny. And after we get that, we can put tranny fluid in. So again, I apologize. Like I said, content's been kind of boring, but I promise you, the next video, we've got to have this thing running. There's no ifs, ands, or buts running. That way we can go back onto the truck. If we can get the heads done, we're going June 27th, just west of Milwaukee for that event, put on by Motor Mania. Hope like heck we can be there. And then we've got plenty of other projects, whether it be the Ford here, twin turbo Ford, we got Goliath, we got a 35 Ford dump truck. So hang in there, guys. We got a lot of content for you. Plenty of things we can do. It's just whatever you guys want to see, got to let us know. And I think at this point, when we're done with the Nova, the death trap is what we need to go to next. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ring that bell. Let us know anything you guys want to see. We appreciate you guys for coming back each time, even though it's boring stuff. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Thank you.